Great afternoon. You are in the fast lane with Sarah Jane. And today I have a fellow chiropractor with me. And these are always fun conversations because we are like minded people. So please welcome Dr. Pat Luce into the fast lane with me today. Great to be here with you. So this is interesting how I came, up, uh, came upon Dr. Pat. So I had to have elbow surgery this year. And so my clinic is shut down for adjustments for roughly two months. And so I was just going to do foot baths and supplements and whatever. And I was going through my email one day and I saw this, this email and it was your five minute video about the seven systems plan. So I watched it. Then there was a hour long webinar coming up. I right away, I watched it. I messaged Josh from Nutridyne and I said, what do you think about this? Because I... I know Josh pretty well. And he was honest with me. And he said, doctors who have good relationships with their patients have great results. Basically kind of like the wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, in and out chiropractors, maybe not as much, but if you have a good relationship with your patients, they do well. And I thought, all right, this is for me. I've never done a weight loss in my clinic. I've been asked for several years. I never wanted to be in charge of someone's weight loss, but I felt like this was the right time. I really felt like it was a divine intervention to get your email that day. And so I joined the seven systems plan and that will be implemented in my office next month. So thank you, first of all, for coming up with that plan because you've helped thousands of people over the years. Yes, I'm, I'm kind of humbled by the way the plan took off. I, I, my, I've been doing this for four decades, believe it or not. And two deca decades ago, I, I went through functional medicine training, which is very good, but it's in-depth, it's expensive, it's complicated. And I decided there's got to be a simpler way. So I put everything I could together and came up with a plan that is just amazing. And it's called the seven systems plan. So I like that you say seven systems plan because you're going through different systems of the body and you're not only focused on weight loss. Do you think that's why people have such good results and are able to sustain the weight loss because you're not just focused on, you know, losing the 10, 20, 15 pounds? Exactly, exactly. Uh, and here's what most people don't know. The real cause of weight gain is not just not enough exercise and too many calories. In fact, they did the Women's Health Initiative trial years ago and they had 5,000 women eat less and exercise more for nine years. And they tracked them to make sure they were. And after nine years of doing that, you'd expect some pretty good results, right? Two pounds, two pounds better than doing nothing. Oh my gosh. So that was just a wake up call. All right, we're missing something. Something else is going on. And the more I dug into it, the more I found that all seven of your body's main systems can sabotage your weight and can sabotage your health. So you have to have some method of getting each of these seven systems working optimally. And I found out that it's not that hard. There's just a few key things that will help get a system working great. And when that happens, your weight goes off, your blood pressure comes down, energy goes up, sex drive skyrockets, everything improves because you're really fixing the source of the problem. Did you struggle with your weight or was this something that your patients were struggling with so you came up with it? I never struggle with my weight. I've always been very active but in high school I was a wrestler and I had to cut weight for wrestling and I didn't have a lot of weight to cut. I cut the weight incorrectly and I found out the wrong way to diet. There's, there's ways that are very healthy and there's ways that are, will actually sabotage your health if you're doing it wrong. But in uh, college uh, in Chicago, when I was finishing my training, I really got into weight loss and nutrition. And I, I took every seminar I could and uh, was having great success even back then. So I decided to continue to do that. And I, I, I just, every time I help someone create a, an amazing health transformation, it just really boosts me up. So that's what I'm passionate about. I just love to see these transformations. And we now have people in almost every state in America going through the seven systems plan wow. and seven countries around the world. And we have great providers like you jumping on up in North Dakota 
and uh, launching the plan there. And I'm just extremely excited to see all the transformations that occur. I am excited about this plan because we're educating our patients. We are not opening up a woman's world, seeing the cabbage soup recipe, and we're gonna try this for three weeks to lose 10 pounds, right? We're educating our patients on why they're doing what they're doing, what they need to do, and how they can sustain it. Because I truly think that if they're educated on it, it's going to just, it's going to stick longer instead of, I can only eat this, I can only eat that. because It's, it's a mind frame type of thing. You are exactly right. <clears throat> and your patients will be the most educated people in the world when they go through the course with you. It's, it's extremely in, instructive. And if, if people kind of understand why they do the things they do and why they should change a few things, it's just a lot easier. And I don't ever take things away from someone without adding a good substitute back. And there are lots of good things you can put in. And it is funny how many people will say, I don't know why I don't lose weight. I only eat salads and I walk every day. And it's difficult because sometimes I just kind of nod because there's a lot more to it than eating salads and walking every day. Like you said, with that study that they did with people losing two pounds, that's not even, that's really kind of a waste of your time. Yes. And here's what I tell them. Hey, it's not your fault. You're gaining weight. You've been given bad information and you have a system or maybe more in your body that's not working right. And with the seven systems plan, we've got a great way to evaluate those systems, identify malfunctions, and then get those systems used working correctly with simple proven steps. And I don't do anything on the seven systems plan that I don't have great studies to back up. What are the seven systems that a person works on with the seven systems plan? All right, I can run through them real quickly. I say there are four main systems, and that is your structural system. That's your frame, your fat, muscle, and bone, your digestive system, which most people are familiar with, your delivery system. So that's your heart and blood vessels, and then your energy system, which takes that food and turns it into energy. So your structural system gathers the food, digestive system digests it, delivery system delivers it to the cells. And inside your cells, you've got the energy system, the mitochondria, which takes that food and turns it into energy. So if those four are functioning great, you're probably not gonna have many health problems, but there's also three support systems. So those four systems need some support and the support is your communication system. So all those systems can communicate. Your defense system, which defends your body and these systems, and then lastly, your detox system, which just kind of cleans up the mess all the systems make. It's, it's not complicated at all once you get into it and kind of see. And there are some very easy tests to see if these systems are working right or not. There's even some simple questionnaires. It'll give you a good idea. How often do you see someone come in your office that will tell you they do not have regular bowel movements? Uh, a lot, a lot. And if you're not having a bowel movement a day, you are headed for some major problems. And that's one of the hundreds of things that we address with the seven systems plan. <clears throat> one of the things I've been impressed with the last few years is the importance of your microbiome, which is your gut bacteria. Those, the gut bacteria control everything from Alzheimer's to arthritis. So just absolutely everything can be impacted by having the right or wrong bacteria in your gut. And I'll tell you, if you're overweight, I'm sorry, you, you don't have probably any good bacteria in your gut. And we got to get it back because that alone will make it much easier for you to lose weight and keep it off. How about depression? How often do you see people with depression and anxiety in your office? Those problems are epidemic. I think depression, there's 19 million Americans uh, that have depression, about that many million that have anxiety disorders. And if you look at the number one prescribed medication in the United States, it's the antidepressants. And antidepressants 
have some significant harmful effects long-term. Now, sometimes there's a need for them short-term and I don't ever take people off those. Mm -hmm. We get them feeling great. And then I send them back to their doctor and I say, all right, I think we can change this. What do you think? And we have, that's one of the things with the seven systems plan. I, I think I am the largest rehab clinic in the Midwest because we help people get off medications and not add more to them. It's interesting how gut health and brain health are related and the average person doesn't know that. So if a person is not having regular bowel movements and if you are eating a lot of processed foods, that is basically turning like, I wanna say a light switch, but almost like a fire on your brain. Like it's very stressful for your brain. And we see all these kids that have issues, ADHD, ADD, uh, depression, anxiety. But at the same time, we do need to look at what they're eating. I don't like to judge what people are eating because we can't do better unless we know better, right? And we just assume if it's on the shelf, it's safe, right? Because someone has tested it, so it must be okay to eat. But if you are shopping in the middle aisles of the grocery store, it's likely not healthy food. Good rule? That's right. You're right. We got to shop around the perimeter and you can make good choices or bad choices in any store. <clears throat> and we, we provide some extra resources that make it simple. One of the things that people get that go through the seven systems plan is a shopping guide. And they've got, I've got all the different food groups that I want you to learn how to eat from. And we've got a green list. These are all the things you can eat. And there's a whole host of those things. And then we've got a red list. These are the things I want you to stay away from. Which is helpful because again, you don't know better. You know, if no one gives you the information, you just would never know. Um, one more thing I wanted to say about the prescriptions. One thing that really upset me for a while is that I would say 75% of my female patients who would come in were on anxiety or depression medication, but not just one, often two. And I would always ask, why the two? Well, this one didn't work, so they put on another one. Here's the thing about the seven systems. And again, Dr. Pat has said this, this is not, we do not take you off of medication. But if you get to feeling better, maybe you're not gonna be on two antidepressant medications because normally when people are on those anxiety depression meds, they will say, I just kind of feel numb. And who wants to go through life feeling numb? Especially when you're a mom and you, you have a family, you're missing out on a lot of life sometimes. Yeah, and they're never the they're never the long term answer because they all eventually lose their effectiveness. So that's why you need that second prescription or a third prescription. And when you start playing with the neurotransmitters in your body and in your brain, which is what these antidepressants do, you're setting yourself up for some bad problems down the road. Mm -hmm. they, uh, th these things have a black label warning on them. They're going to increase your suicidal tendencies. Now that's true with adults and kids. So everybody should be working to, to get off all medications. And it's, it's not always possible, but a, a significant percentage of the time it is, you know, blood pressure medication, diabetic medication, cholesterol medications, those very frequently go away when you follow the seven systems plan. In the, with the seven systems plan, it is a lifestyle change. So it's not that you're signing up for a program just so you feel better within 90 days and then you're not better after that. This is a lifestyle change. It's a frame of mind change because when you do go and you are put on a medication, like you said, that's the end game. You're on this medication now indefinitely. You're not on this medication until it gets better. You're on this medication until that one doesn't work and you need another one. So I think it's very, I don't think people see it that way because I think we have been trained now that medications just take care of all the things when sometimes just a lifestyle change will take care of those things. Absolutely. Yep. And we have been brainwashed to think the drugs are the answer to everything and they should, we should not think like that. We should think, uh, all right, what, what foods can I use as medicines? What can I do to improve my gut bacteria? Gut bacteria has been connected to uh, your, your mood. If, you're, if you got good gut bacteria, you're gonna have much better mood. You're gonna have less depression. 
And it's not that hard to change these things. It's usually, in fact, it's, it's weeks, not months or years. <clears throat> I have patients come in and if they're not, once they join the plan, if they're not feeling significantly better in two weeks, it's very unusual, but something's wrong because almost everyone does. So when people go through the program and they're eating healthier and they'll say, well, what about I have a birthday coming up? I want to have birthday cake. What are you saying to those people? All right. Well, in my book, The Seven Systems Plan, which I know you have, uh, I talk about my rule, which is the 95% rule. You get an A working with me or my providers if you do right 95% of the time. We've all got those occasions where we're going to have things we shouldn't. I do too, and that's okay, as long as the majority of the time you're doing the right things. Mm -hmm. And so people need to realize that you're not giving up everything fun for a diet. Again, it's not a diet, it's more of a lifestyle change. I have several of your books in my office. I already have people reading them. I had someone message and say they started making some changes already. I have not gone through all of the training with Dr. Luce yet. So we, we're not starting this in my office until March, but I'm excited that I already have people excited about it because this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. and. I'll tell you, it's kind of contagious when people start having their systems work correctly and feeling tremendously better, they share it with their friends. And that's, that's what I want. I want this message of good health, the way to good health to spread around the world. Do you find that being a chiropractor, we do take more of a whole body approach? Like, obviously, we don't want you to have back pain, but we look at all the pieces and almost look at a person as a puzzle instead of just putting a Band-Aid on a bullet wound. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I, I love the, the chiropractic philosophy. And that is uh, your body can heal itself if you just give it what it needs. Now, sometimes that means helping your nervous system out with a spinal adjustment. And sometimes that means helping out your digestive system with a, a specific whole food. How, how have you dealt with the people over the years who say they don't believe in chiropractic or chiropractic isn't real? What do you say to them? I mean, you've done this for four decades. So, I mean, you've heard your fair share. Well, here, here's what's usually the case. Number one, they've never been to a chiropractor. And number two, they've never had spinal pain. If they've had spinal pain and been to a chiropractor, they know it works. And we don't have to rely on just what people say these days. <clears throat> there are all kinds of medical studies that compare chiropractic to drugs, chiropractic to physical therapy, chiropractic to massage. Chiropractic always wins. Spinal manipulation is extremely powerful. When you affect the nervous system and get the nervous system working right, which is part of the communication system in my course, then it can improve the health of everything. They've shown that spinal adjustments, even people without any musculoskeletal symptoms, improves allergies, asthma, ringing in ears, heart rate, blood pressure, just by adjusting the spine. It's a very, very powerful tool. And as chiropractors, it's just one of the many tools that we have. And how about the people who don't think it's safe for kids because really it's best to start kids off right away with chiropractic. Absolutely. And all my kids had an adjustment in the first couple of days of life. So I, it, it is safe as chiropractors. We're trained to work on children as well as adults. We don't do it exactly the same with children, but starting off life with a healthy spine and a properly functioning nervous system can prevent lots of lots of problems. And also doing the seven systems plan, you're gonna have you're gonna change what it's the atmosphere in your home. So your kids are going to be learning a, a different way to eat and exercise and live as well. Yeah, that's one thing I'm I'm always impressed with. I'll have a, a, a patient go through the course and have tremendous results and find out, uh, hey, my husband lost 50 pounds and he got off five of his medications. 
just by doing the things that that uh, his wife learned. It, so it does affect the spouse and it does affect the kids. And that's what I want. Now, Dr. Pat referenced his book, The Seven Systems Plan book. This is an easy read as in anyone can read it. It's not real technical terms. It is written for anyone to learn about it. I, and I really like that about the book. Yeah, I tried to uh, I tried to make it understandable for everyone. And each chapter, I give a real life story about someone who had a problem with the specific system I'm I'm talking about. <clears throat> and then I I show what can go wrong with the system, and I give some simple steps to optimize the function of that system. So the book the book is very helpful, and I've I, I'm. Uh, I'm humbled that uh, it was an Amazon number one bestseller a while back. But when you put the book with the course, you have the absolute whole package because the course kind of makes the book come alive. And it also gives a lot more practical information and even more education than, than is just in the book. You have done amazing things for chiropractic, for your patients, for weight loss, for uh, nerve interference you have done a lot for people so you are highly regarded at what you do and i appreciate that you took the time to talk to us today and i'm curious what you would say to someone who would say i've tried everything i can't lose weight i'm because i've heard this i'm just going to be fat the rest of my life what are you saying to those people all right i say uh come to dr sarah's introduction meeting it's free She'll be giving you the date and times for that. And she'll be showing you a, the big picture about what the course involves and how it works. And after that meeting, I think there's a very good chance you will understand and believe and want to jump in. And even if you're not struggling with your weight, Dr. Pat did talk about how we're dealing with other systems too. So if you're really low on energy, if you're not sleeping well, if you aren't having regular ball movements, if you're having a lot of heartburn, there's a lot of other things that the seven systems plan helps with instead of weight loss. But weight loss usually tends to be the number one thing people are talking about. That's exactly right. So thank you so much, Dr. Pat, for coming up with the seven systems program. I can't wait to see what it does for my patients and for my community. And uh, I, I'm excited to continue to learn from you. Well, I can't wait to see the life changes that occur in North Dakota because of what you're going to do. Thanks for listening to the Fast Lane with Sarah Jane podcast. If you like what you hear, share the podcast and hit the subscribe button so you get updates on all new episodes. And we truly love feedback, so ratings and reviews are appreciated.